Hey everybody, I'm Josh the Editor here, and I'm here to react to the newest death battle. It came out yesterday, and it's Joker versus Jorno. First things first, never played a Persona game. Sorry guys. I had a, I had a co-worker who tried to get me to play one of the Persona games, and he, uh, I don't remember what he recommended to me. But if there's like a game you can recommend that would be like a good entry point, I heard there's like one of the newer games that you don't really need to play any of the previous games in order to appreciate it. I think it was Persona 4 or 5. I think it was 5. Maybe. Uh, but I do know about Giorno Giovanna, for you see, he has a dream. He is Italian. He's the son of Dio Brando. Has nothing to do with the story, unfortunately. Really sucks. Uh, he drinks piss, and he has the stand, Gold Experience. And then it evolves, and this is really what Death Battle is going to need to ex re-explain to me. Gold Experience Requiem. Because you know Giorno, he could punch things, and he'll turn them into like jellyfish or snakes or whatever, or what? it was a frog in the first episode. Crazy enough, I had this dream last night. I must have been thinking about this death battle, because I had this dream last night where Giorno, Giorno was trying to just annoy the hell out of this person who was trying to sleep. So he just kept punching little rocks and turning them into like frogs and bees, just animals that make a lot of noise, just to annoy the person because they were trying to sleep. That's just, it's so weird. All right, now... After Omni-Man vs. Bardock, where it was announced that this one was going to be Joker vs. Jorno, everybody and their mom was like, Joker takes this. Joker takes this. The power scaling in Persona 5 is way crazier than anything in JoJo's. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I have nothing to base this on, but I'll take their word for it. But I am biased towards Jorno because, you know, because I'm, I'm just a JoJo fan, man. man. I'm just an idiot monkey brain man who likes to watch muscle dudes punch each other. Uh, so Death Battle is going to have to do a good job explaining this to me and spoon feeding it to me because I don't know anything about Persona. The only thing I do remember about Gold Experience is that because I didn't understand it at all when I watched it, uh, someone had to explain it to me and he explained it to me in a way that was very interesting that Diavolo, uh, his stand was able to like skip time to in a way where it took away the cause but left the effect. The, the scene that keeps that keeps playing in my head is when Bruno is fighting Diavolo. Meanwhile, like, Mista and Narancha are... I might be butchering the pronunciations. Uh, Narancha are arguing about, like, chocolate or something. And then, you know, five seconds of skip time ha happens. And all of a sudden, like, the candy is in Narancha's mouth. And it's like, how'd that happen? It, like, it skipped over, like, the cause and it left the effect, which was, like, the food in the mouth. And someone explained to me that... So, Golden Experience Requiem removes the effect but keeps the cause which is why Diavolo was stuck in like this weird genjutsu where he kept getting killed over and over again it took away the the effect him dying but kept a bunch of the causes uh they're gonna need to explain it to me because i'm just a i'm just a big dumb idiot all right i'm never gonna learn me the facts all right i've been going on too long let's get this going and one two three go Ooh, pixel animation they're doing that now, a little tease Joker at the beginning. Oh, oh! The Phantom Thief of Hearts and JoJo's Golden the fast game pace star. off the start. He's wears an iron boomstick. And it's their job to analyze their weapons, weapons armor, and skills. Find out who would win a death, death battle. battle. Nice. Ren Amamiya wasn't prepared for this to happen. When he witnessed an innocent woman being harassed and stepped in, he had no idea her assailant was one of Japan's most prominent politicians. What the Ren Lex Luthor? Forced to leave town, lose friends, and transfer to Shujin Academy. Likes there older women, hell yeah. To ruin your life. But his run-ins with corrupt authority figures was only just spent ten years in spin-off hell. Call it a theme. And it wouldn't just be dealing with your garden variety scumbag gym teachers. Ren and his new friends found themselves in a whole new world. The Metaverse! Whoa, no! Less scary. What? Yeah, that uh. one. Derived from the works of Carl Jung, this collective unconscious is like an alternate reality formed from the amalgamated thoughts and feelings of mankind. What humans believe, or even what they fear, directly shapes it. And inside this crazy mental realm, those who have been corrupted by power and abused the weak have become evil superpowers, just like how they're viewed by many of their victims in the real world. Victims like Ren and his friends, Ryuji, An, Makoto, Pancakes, and 
the animal. They may have been helpless against crushing institutional might in the real world, but in the metaverse, they had a way to fight back. Persona. Okay, that's, this the feels a little lame. Episode, personas can become incredibly powerful spirits. By using their it feels like some edgelord's fantasy is like, oh, that guy picks on me. Source of their I'm gonna make a world right. Well, I'm cause in. such foes to repent in the real world. So the friends oh formed gosh. a band called the Phantom Thieves, with Ren as their leader, codenamed Joker. And Joker's first okay. persona was the awesome Arsene. With razor sharp first claws persona. and the ability to curse enemies with dark energy, Arsene was an excellent persona to start with. But Joker's a wild card. Literally, he can capture as many personas as he wants. Ooh. He's gotta catch them all because they each have their own crazy powers. From shooting fire, the Pokeball, ice and I saw that. to dissing out status effects, healing, and resistances. Okay, I might need to play this game. Nukes at the baddies. So Joker can fight with manifestations of deities like Beelzebub, Odin, and Jesus A dick? Christ. Wow, he looks way different than in the paintings I've seen. Oh, hey, did you know that a That's a penis. is connected to their user's own stamina? So when a persona is shattered, even though it's not, like, dead dead, it does rattle the user pretty badly. Well, without his personas, Joker can still rely on his guns, grappling hooks, smoke bombs, etc. Might not sound like much compared to summoning actual Satan, but in the metaverse, perception is reality. No, really, it actually works like that. In the real world, Joker's gun is only a prop. However, with Joker's reputation in the metaverse, this prop becomes a god killer. As the Phantom Thieves' reputation increased, so did their power. Okay. Simply because that's how they were perceived. Kind of like how Personas are empowered by the social links Joker possesses with his friends. Yes, in the world of Persona, hanging out with your buds makes you stronger. Anime! Game. Friendship is power. Max, social links can bring a wildcard user back from the brink of death, instilling them with willpower greater than the rest of humanity combined. I guess meticulously gardening your friends like a sociopath has its benefits. Hey, gardening. Wait, have a cold one on me. Oh my god, what is it? Uh, thanks. You fucking guy. Ah, looks like our relationship meter's maxed out. Oh, yeah. Well, guess there's no point to us hanging out anymore. Later, loser, I'm gonna go do untested pharmaceuticals and date my teacher. Oh. Wait, date your what? Ahem. <clears throat> Over the course of his adventures leading yeah, Joker. to Thieves, nice. Joker's bonds made him as powerful as the gods he commands. He can dodge Lucifer's Morning Star, which summons an energy beam that travels several light years in seconds. Millions of times faster than light. Or survive a oh, I know what that means. That exploded what? big enough to eclipse a nebula. Talk about having stomach problems. No wonder Joker can face off against opponents that can reshape all of reality. Like Maruki, who used the metaverse to rewrite all of reality to fit his desires. Or okay. Yabaya, who merged Holy the hell. world and metaverse together. What? Was in this battle that sounds bad. Bioth, that Joker upgraded our sin to create Satanile. The biblical angel of vengeance with a big ass gun perceive this reality bitch giant His gun primary attack sinful shell is imbued with what is known as almighty energy which can bypass any defense even that from the omnipotent orb which can explicitly rewrite reality yes very good big ass gun whiz and with a shot heard around the world, Joker and his friends prove that you're never too young to change society for the better, no matter how arduous the forces against you may be. If the man is keeping you down, just call up the Phantom Thieves to put them in their place. They'll never see it coming. I might need to play one of these games. So recommend a game. As far back as he could remember, oh, little boy. Giovanna always wanted to be a gangster. Cause damn it feels good to be a gangster. <laughs> Gone are the days of leaving horse heads in your enemy's bed or squeezing their head in a vice till they pop. Jorno wanted to be a different kind of gangster. Man, it feels good to be a gangster. <laughs> metrosexual kind of mob boss. A gang star. A shy gang star. boy on the streets of Naples, Jorno's life changed the day he saved a wounded mobster. In return, he was rewarded with future protection from abuse and isolation. This act of reciprocal kindness convinced Giorno of the value of the mob as a social organization. If only it was commanded by the right person. Someone like Giorno. All he had to do was take control of the Neapolitan Mafia, Passione, and their army of superpowered assassins. Ambitious? Maybe. But hey, he's the biological son, son of the Dio Brando and Jonathan Joestar. Itself. Don't ask. Dio Brando. Who conceived Giorno while possessing the body of his arch enemy, Jonathan, Jonathan Joestar. Joestar? This technically makes Giorno both a Brando and a Jojo. Don't ask. Hence the name G 
Geo Geo. Well, he didn't just inherit the name, but also the Joe Star bloodline's power. Giorno possesses a stand, gold experience. Stands are invisible, intangible punching ghosts that protect punching the user and come with incredible superpowers, like stopping time, making fiction into reality, or cooking Italian food. God damn, give me that one. And yeah. Giorno's gold experience has perhaps the greatest potential of any stand in the series. With just a touch, it can imbue inanimate objects with golden. I life thought his powers were super unique. Any plant or animal in an instant and back again. Giorno uses this with maximum creativity, like disguising a gun as a banana so you accidentally blow your own brains out a gorilla's worst nightmare Giorno is frankly a super genius when it comes to gold experience's ability like transforming bullets into flesh to heal the very wounds they made or changing a brick into a snake that can detect body heat and find a hidden enemy or turning his teeth into a special kind of jellyfish that filters out the toxins in the piss he was wait drinking. I got a I got a yellow drink the only one who did that should the object Giorno gives life to be a part of a greater whole, like turning a tooth into a fly, it will attempt to return to its original source. I thought Not that was super that, creative. The damage Giorno's creations receive will be reflected onto the opponent. Ooh! Giorno can even a reverse Uno card. Same energy. This supercharges the target's consciousness, causing them to outpace their physical body and leaving them totally helpless to counter attack. And they shit themselves. Like you got no, play the sound. Experiencing time at a way slower rate while your body is stuck in the same position. Imagine a Muda to the nuts felt for 20 straight seconds. Forget about it. Especially when you're hitting as hard as Gold Experience. According to the Jojo Veller art book written by the mangaka himself, Gold Experience has a speed rating of A, putting Ooh. him in the same league as stands like Star Platinum and Silver Chick, Shit. which are faster than light. And although his strength stat is only a C, he can still shatter cars like glass and keep up with A strength stands like Sticky Fingers. Perfect for a merciless stand rush that lasts seven pages. The seven page Muda! Dio must be so proud. With Gold experience at his side, Giorno joined Passione and rose to challenge its reclusive leader, Diavolo. Wait, 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 wait. Diavolo? You're telling me that Giorno, the son of God, battles the devil, just like Jesus, whose full biblical name is Yeshua, or Joshua, Ben Joseph, Joshua Joseph, Jojo. We're moving on. Diavolo That's part seven. Don't jump ahead. Hands on a stand arrow. And when a stand is pierced by a stand arrow, it evolves. So, Joe got it first and transformed Gold Experience into the most broken thing in anime. Gold Experience Requiem. Requiem stands change the rules entirely. Flight? It's almost like they elevate your stand beyond the need for combat. Gold Experience Requiem can, in short, negate any action taken against it and return it to a state of zero, mm -hmm. shifting reality back to square one. Let's say I woke up this morning, got myself a gun, and fired it at Giorno. With Gold Experience Requiem, no matter how accurate I am, the shot will always miss because I never fired my gun. Oh. It's returned to zero. And, and also zero. a horrific example of gun safety. This applies to any attack made against Requiem, including from Diavolo stand King Crimson, which can infamously skip time erasing the universe for 10 seconds and requiem negated that it undid time being erased while time was already erased which meant there was no time to unerase the erased time and i uh... this is why i don't like part five that's right boomstick requiem's ability acts independently of time itself sound crazy well requiem can counter the stand made in heaven which can accelerate time what? across the whole universe into infinity. So that kind of range of Requiem's ability is Part actually six? consistent. It also reduces your <laughs> willpower to zero, so you can't even fight back. Even your death can be returned to zero. After pummeling Diavolo into pulp, Requiem prevented him from dying, forcing him to relive the experience of being killed over and over in a series of never-ending alternate universes for eternity. Just when you thought you were out, Requiem pulls you back in. The second you hear that piano start playing, <laughs> run. <laughs> and so Giorno <laughs> took control of Passione <laughs> and turned it into the peacekeeping social organization he always dreamed about. With its streets free of drugs, Italy's youth could rest easy. Their hopes and dreams could be carried into the future on a golden wind. Vento Areo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go with Joker.
It's way he, Joker seems way too strong, and he's got multiple different personas or stands. So he probably has a better uh, arsenal. Funny enough, isn't that what his first one was called? Arsenal. He has bit, probably more diverse powers. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm very curious to see how he's gonna get around Requiem. But I think I think Joker. I think everyone's right. I think Joker's got this. All right, let's go. All right, the combatants are set. set. We've run the data through, through all possibilities. possibilities. It's time for a Gold experience. Go, are set. Well, we're just starting in hot. Wow. Giorno Giovanna, your heart is twisted. It is ours to take. Shoki Fantasmi, my dreams aren't yours to take. He's turning them into bees, like I said in my dream! He'll never see it coming. Checkmate. Return to zero! Wow, he did it. Oh no, Jorno's gonna go in there and throw some hands. That's why he's a gangster. Alice. Oh. Impossible. A second stand. Time to understand my gold experience. Oh no! All objects given life by gold experience Hell yeah. desire to return home. His persona creates life. I've got to nullify that. Jack Frost! Icy! Oh my god, that drawing. That drawing is insane. This shock of Fantasma is justice. This is Requiem. No, come on. I, no way I'll... Oh! Muda! Did I lose? Holy shit! Didn't hear me before. Checkmate. Oh, like this guy needs to get even more powerful. Oh, okay, that's a nice touch there. I wonder if it was close. Makings of a varsity death battle winner. This was an absolutely fascinating matchup and far from an easy call. Joker versus base gold experience wasn't close though. Sure, Jorno mm. powers through Joker for a loop, but Joker and his personas were millions of times faster and could take on universe busters. And there was no doubt Joker could see Jorno's stand, considering he could spot similar beings like Shadow. Add in the versatility of Joker's hundreds of personas, hundreds could get quickly overwhelmed. But that's where Requiem came in, and the game changed with its ability to nullify any action taken against it even ones that can affect entire universes joker's regular arsenal was rendered moot remember requiem could act independently of time so joker wouldn't be able to avoid requiem's ability he'd have to beat it outright take when the phantom thieves face maruki the group couldn't resist the reality warping effects of his powers. He even had an ability that nullified actions against him, similar to Gold Experience Requiem. Okay. But Joker still had an ace up his sleeve. While Requiem can reduce your willpower to zero, Joker's social links were able to recharge him. And finally, we have Joker's almighty attacks, which could bypass reality warping defenses like the Omnipotent Orb. 
the perfect counter for Requiem. And this is actually backed up in JoJo. While Requiem only has one appearance in the manga, it did show up in the game Eyes of Heaven. There, it faced off against the world over heaven, which can overwrite reality to overpower any attack, including Requiem's return to zero. That meant an almighty attack... There's no way that game is canon. Warping ...would have the same effect, giving Joker the option he needed to land a killing blow against Requiem's perfect defense. Dio, I'm not against the fact that Jorno lost. It's just you can't... I don't like when they do battle. stuff like Jorno this. That game is ruined, so not canon. But Joker had the versatility, experience, and almighty power for the final blow. Jorno missed his golden opportunity and had a shell of a time. <laughs> hey, Wiz, hear what I said? I said... Jorno missed his golden opportunity, and he had a shell of a time. The winner is Joker. Next time on Death Battle. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Bowser versus Eggman. I'm not really okay. Subscribe and join Ooh. as a member to see more Death Battle. Thanks for watching. So Bowser versus Eggman. I when I heard it, I, when I saw it, I was like, eh. But it it'd be really cool at the end of the. Let me go back real quick. Okay, it looks like we're doing some crazy animation where it's two armies against each other. Go all out, man. I don't know if like a standard battle for these two would even work, where it's just 1v1. I'm, I'm glad, if it's a whole army versus a whole army, that'd be really cool. And it's really cool to see death battle branching out like that. It could still be focused on those two. But yeah, have an army versus army. It'll just look cooler. Man, they must have gotten one hell of a budget to make arm to do these, to animate these armies. Yeah, back to the death battle. Man, I really, I'm really gonna have to play one of these Persona games eventually. They look really cool. I admit it. Uh, yeah, but leave a comment of what is the best first Persona game for like a newbie. Because I'm, I'm into like updated graphics. I don't know if I want to play like a super old game. No offense. But yeah, um, yeah, good death battle. I, I really enjoyed it. It is cool to see Jorno using his, um, his stand in cool ways, turning them into bees. I don't think he ever turned things into bees. In the anime, he turned things into flies. I don't know if I ever saw bees, but that's really cool. He did the snake, and yeah, just, and the animation for this death battle was going hard, man. That flurry of blows with the Muda was insane, and then there's also Joker's like big, big turnaround, like the turnaround, just like like Diavolo, but it was really good. Man, that was good. That was some good, man. That's some good content. I remember when me and Jace were doing these, there was a point where like I didn't care about death battles as much but now i'm like now i'm actually excited for them now well, that's good <laughs> all right well hope you guys enjoyed uh make sure to like comment and subscribe all that good stuff and if you have a good suggestion for a video or a series of videos i should react to make sure to leave a comment down below uh hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm josh the editor i'll see you next time bye